Hi, this is John with Fix-It Planet. Today we've got a Sony Xperia Z2 tablet. That's the SGP561 by Verizon. And uh, it has a cracked screen and is no longer uh, responding to the customer's touch. So you can see the cracks in there. So, we're going to, this is basically start to finish for the most part. There's the volume and power button, and there is the micro SD and SIM tray under there. Charging port, sensor, and a microphone, and uh, this is for external keyboard or something. And there's the model Verizon 4G LTE Xperia Z2 tablet. It's a camera rear facing camera, headphone jack. Now we've uh, we've pre-warmed it on a hot plate, but we're going to be using our heat gun throughout this process for the rest of the video because uh, we're going to take the screen off a little at a time. So we're going to get started. The screen is connected at the bottom of the tablet, so we're going to start up here at the top. And uh, one of the most important things about this uh, repair is um, that there are loads of components and flex cables near uh, the outer edge of the frame. So you cannot stick your tool uh, very far in or you will damage um, internal components that are very important in fact. So I'm going to open it up a little bit at a time and I'm going to try to show uh, some of these uh, internal components. Some of them are also attached to flex cables and are a little bit stuck to uh, the glass from the back side from the display on the back of the display and will come up with the screen as you lift it so you you really want to be looking down inside there keeping an eye on the inside as you're as you're pulling the screen away uh, I can't really see through there very good so but I'm trying to illustrate um, that you're going to take the screen off uh, just uh, a little bit at a time so you can see the internal components and make sure that you don't uh, pull anything loose that may be stuck to the screen and I'll show you something here in a minute that uh, a lot of times does get stuck to the screen and you can rip that flex cable it's on this side here we're gonna heat that up a little bit and you'll see it stick to the to the screen if you try to pull the screen all the way off um, it could stick and tear the cable so there you can just see it there uh, stuck to the back of the screen and it is attached with a very uh, easy to tear flex cable there it is hanging down and um, there's another flex cable right there uh, it's kind of got a curl in it I'm pointing at and that also will sometimes get stuck to the back of the screen and can get ripped off so you really want to kind of pay attention to that when you're on this side that'd be the left side of the screen near the power and volume buttons and then this uh, little assembly here is also stuck to the glass so you want to uh, watch out that little flimsy flex cable there is also attached to the board and will tear very easily there's also a little post there sticking up so lots of things to damage in there if you're if you're not careful so we're just going to pull this away from the screen and kind of set it back down in there where it goes and uh, we'll we'll have a look at that again in a minute and i'll show a little better view there's also more stuff on the other side too as well um a whole logic board there flex cables antennas
All right, so now you can kind of see down in there a little bit better. There is uh, a connector uh, that we're going to disconnect from the display. Right there. And that one's going to come up first. We're going to take that off. And then we're going to go ahead and cut the rest of the adhesive. And we're going to move that cable out of our way so we don't cut into that. Get this off of there. Okay. And uh, the back of the screen just uh, looks like this. Nothing special. It's all one piece. Here's our new one. And uh, looks pretty much the same on the other side. It's got some tape covering up some areas and there's our connector. So just the one connector for that display. Not too difficult. So I am gonna have to scrape off a lot of uh, leftover adhesive around the border, around the edge. I'm not going to show that in this video, even though it's supposed to be from start to finish. But in this particular video, I kind of just, uh, I got it started, and then I'm going to uh, pause it, finish up cleaning it up and getting the uh, ad new adhesive in place, and then we'll come back to the video. So along the edge here, you can see all the old leftover stuff. It's pretty thick and gooey and it's uh it takes a little while to get off so you want to scrape off the excess clean up the surface and put apply some new fresh adhesive there's that post i was telling you about there's a flex cable attached to this and that little piece right there as well there's another cable you can watch out for that one there is really uh, uh attached right there with a very thin flex cable this cable here is also connected to a little flex cable uh, connector on the board so both of those are really fragile and easy to damage so I'm just going to double check and make sure they're connected and then we're going to uh, attach the new screen So it's just a little connector here. Slide the cable in. Make sure it's flush. And close the little connector door. And then we're going to power it on and test it. I went in and to settings and turned that off.
didn't have much of a charge on it so I went ahead and kept it plugged in while I check it out and while we're waiting on this to boot up we're gonna peel that off and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and heat up around the edges a little bit and uh, Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.